Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Brit Man Studios, and I got a question that's probably going to be a fairly common question, and that question is, how on earth do we center this thing in the middle of the screen, or even at percentages of the screen? Um, you're going to want to do this a lot. I wind up doing this a lot, and we're going to just jump right into it. So I'm going to make this button go to the center, and what I'm going to do is open up my GUI button script. In here, I'm going to add a new boolean that's going to say public bool um, center uh, button. I guess that's good enough. Center button is equal to false. Obviously when we tick this on in the inspector we want to center our button. So here we have uh, our rectangle, our current rect. What we're going to do is say if we have center button enabled, which I guess we can we can do it here or we can do it in the start. I'll do it in the start I guess. So if we have center button, what we're going to do is change the current rect. Hmm. Actually, the current rect is going to be changing all the time. Sorry for the back and forth. Let's put it inside of the on GUI. So if we have center button, if that's true, what we're going to do is say current rect uh, dot x is equal to screen dot width, and what we're going to do is uh, divide this by half. Uh, so divide by two and then we're going to subtract half of the size of the button. So we're going to do minus current rect. Actually, before we do that, let's put our order of operations, our parentheses around these statements. So uh, just so it's easier for us to see it. Minus the current rect dot width divided by two. Now I'm going to do something here that I often do in uh, whenever I program and sometimes it gets me in trouble, but I like to do it. Uh, division down inside of the OS and uh, on the computer's level, division is kind of complex and it goes through a lot of stages to get division out. So I know that dividing by 2 is equivalent to multiplying by 0.5f. So I'm going to multiply by 0.5f because this is inside of the on GUI and it's going to be called many, 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 many times per, uh, per I guess, second. Um, I want to do kind of the most optimal solution. So dividing by, instead of divide by 2, I'm going to multiply by 0.5f. Same exact thing. And what we're going to do is you're going to find that we're going to do the same exact thing to y. So the current rect dot y is equal to screen dot height multiplied by 0.5f subtracted by current rect dot height multiplied by 0.5f or divided by half. So when uh, we run this, it's going to um, center on screen. So before we're able to center on screen, we're going to select our cube, and in our spe inspector, we're going to turn on uh, this button that just appeared, uh, center button. I'm going to check that on. Um, check it on. And you're going to see that it's centered in the screen. So if I hit play, and I click it, it should remain in the center because I am doing it inside of the on draw function. Now you'll see this thing stays in the center of the screen no matter how much I move this, even if I change the aspect ratio, it's going to stay in the center of the screen. Uh, free aspect, yeah there you go, see? Stays in the center of the screen no matter what. So that's the behavior we wanted. So how can we alter this uh, to kind of um, do other things like percentages. Well, basically, you see here we get half of the screen. Um, let me demonstrate in a little bit of an easier form. So let's say that we have our screen rectangle here. Well, what we're doing is we're dividing that first by half, if that's half, and then we have another rectangle, which is the button size. Sorry for that sound. Uh, we have the button size there. And notice we have to subtract half of that button size in order for it to be center. And the same thing on the Y. We have to subtract half that button size. So now you can see um, why we subtracted by half of the button size there. But in doing so, we can uh, do other th forms of things. If we wanted to do a percentage of the screen, so we can take, uh, this is half the screen, subtract by half the width. So if we did something like um, 
screen width multiplied by or divided by let's say 10 and we took off the second half it's going to take the screen width and divide by 10 so it's going basically from the width uh, I have no idea what the width might be and divided by 10 so if the width is 10 it's going to go down to 1 from the right so you're able to alter the uh, button in interesting ways you can see that it stays uh, a division of 10 from the right so that's a uh, I'm gonna put this back and leave off with that uh, so you can look at it um, that's a way that we're able to move the button dynamically based on screen size rather than an X and Y coordinate because uh, if we're working on let's say Android there's 500 different uh, sizes and aspect ratios and if we're working on uh, HD verse and and on PC if we're doing 1080p uh, we need to move our UI if they're not using 1080p say they're using a 10 24 kind of sizing. Um, we got to be able to dynamically move that stuff around so it keeps the same aspect ratio. So this is a way we can do it. Um, so with that, I hope that helped out. And until next time, I'll see you then.